Okay, so one of the problems with uh, correlations is when you're measuring variables such as GPA and number of absences or leadership and cultural intelligence is that those things are not measured the same way. Um, and so how can you compare apples to oranges? And so the only way that you can account for that covariance um, being the same is that you standardize them and you standardize it by using the standard deviations of both of those variables and ultimately what that standardization does is give you a correlation coefficient. And that correlation coefficient, again, is based on those inches to seconds. So if I said, how far can somebody jump given their leg strength? Is there a relationship with the, between those two? What the standardization process does is convert those inches and converts those um, leg strength in pounds to a standardized measure that they can now be compared against each other and ultimately illustrate the covariance or how that relationship works. So there's a long section in Andy's book about that. I'm not concerned that you guys know how to calculate that, but just know that that's what a correlation does. It standardizes the, standardize the units so that we can get an appropriate value to represent those two values of different units um, in relationship.